Hi, it's Monday morning and we are just going to have an at home day today. We don't have anywhere to go today. Um, I do have a lot of things to do though. I have to finish their um, play date party stuff. It's not a party, it's just a play date. But I'm decorating and making stuff for it. So I have to finish that. I have a lot of clothes to fold up because it was wash day yesterday so folding clothes all day play date stuff and probably just cleaning them after the girls all day and feeding them all day because that's what they do when we're at home they like to eat all day and they like to make a mess but that's what little kids do so that's the breakdown of the day it's not gonna be very interesting but some days are not some days are more interesting than others. Some, thing, some days are more lazy than others. But yeah, so stay tuned. At home day means Adri gets to dress herself. And that means polka dots, purple polka dots with a pink shirt. You did a good job dressing yourself. Mm. <laughs> yeah, she rarely matches, but it's okay. She can express herself sometimes. <laughs> so these are all clean dishes. These are not dirty dishes, but unfortunately we don't have a dishwasher. So we have to hand wash all of our dishes. And some days it is ridiculous. The kitchen layout is too small for a dishwasher and it will take up uh, too many cabinets. But so this is what I have to do every morning. Put the dishes away and make um make room for water to wash them throughout the day i hate washing dishes and this little one just woke up and she slept in mommy's bed last night because she didn't want to go to sleep once again she has been having issues with sleeping for weeks now and she will not go to sleep on time and so that makes me very tired but she gets to sleep in longer than me because i have to get up and do things but yeah have good sleep ready to get some clothes on and eat breakfast okay here's the girls breakfast cereal banana toast with peanut butter and water Yes. So Adri decided that she wanted to put her bananas cut up, sliced up on her toast with peanut butter. Cause she said she wanted a peanut butter and banana sandwich for lunch, but uh, I, but she already has it for breakfast. So she's just gonna do that right now. And she's cutting it. And Miss Elise decided that she wanted to copy. <laughs> and these are plastic knives. They're not sharp at all. Is it yummy? Mm -hmm. Good cutting, Adri. You did a good job. Good, Elise. Yeah. So for my breakfast, I'm just gonna have toast and fried egg and some apple cider. And here's my breakfast. Simple, small. But I'm not very hungry in the morning ever. Sometimes I even skip breakfast. But today I'm going to force myself to eat because I have a lot of things to do. And I want my brain to work. <coughs> hmm, look what we got here. I'm making more cookies. Peanut butter cookies. And if you have been watching... The other vlogs that I made, you're probably wondering why I have so many cookies or why I'm making so many cookies or dessert or whatever. But what I am doing is freezing all the cookie dough. So I have this so far. I have, these are chocolate chip. These are the oatmeal chocolate chip. This is, these are sure cookies. And I'm gonna make the peanut butter cookies and freeze them. And I'm just stocking up for like the holidays and 
there's a lot of stuff coming up basically like the holiday with the holidays and um like the girls are having a play date and i'm gonna use these and i'll already have them on hand made um i'm also going to make some i'm gonna make another batch of sugar cookies i'm gonna use this for their play date and i'm also gonna make these for their play date but i'm gonna make and the peanut butter cookies but i'm gonna make um snickerdoodles and freeze them because for christmas i always make them and i'm gonna make a couple batches and then i'll be all set and stocked up on cookie dough instead of i like to make it instead of buying it it tastes better and if any other cookie recipes i can think of or cookie cookies that i like i'm gonna make them and freeze them <sighs> i'm really really lagging this morning this afternoon it's now noon um i really need some coffee but i have a coffee maker but i don't have any coffee in the house so i feel like just taking a nap but i can't do it because i have so much stuff still to do and today is pretty much the only day that i have to do this stuff uh oh one second so, like I was saying, I'm tired. I don't know what I was saying, but Elise was crying because she was trying to change her clothes and she got stuck. So, yeah, and she's sick. She is sniffly. I don't know if she has, a, like, if she got a cold from someone or if it's just too cold at night because she does not, she will not sleep with blankets. But she's very stuffed up and I have to give her some medicine. But yeah, still onto the list of the day, the things of the day. Hi, Chubs. You okay? Mm -hmm. Can you say hi, camera? Say it. Hi. Hi, I want to see if you sound stuffed up. She keeps asking for tissue to wipe her nose. She has on a Halloween shirt because she's insisting on wearing it. And her and Adri pick their clothes out, like I said before, when we don't go anywhere. And she wants to wear a Halloween shirt. So I said, okay. Want some medicine? Elise? Oh, she's too into those cartoons. So I'm going to give her some cold and cough daytime medicine. And it's going to help her runny nose. Just keeps on running <laughs> and oddly enough my kids like to take medicine I don't know why but it's really weird they get happy to take medicine drink it all up I hope you feel better so back to the tasks of the day I got the bed made I still have part pl play date, not party. I keep calling it a party. Play date. I mean, I guess it's the same as a party, but I don't want it to be like a party. But I still have play date stuff to do. I need to make a list for the food. And it's still right here. And two baskets of clothes. And there is more downstairs, I'm sure. But as far as the the play day stuff, I like, I mean, I have a space in the basement to do crafting and all that stuff, but I like being upstairs because it's so much brighter and then I can watch TV. This, this is how I keep my life together because I'm a planner and I am like a perfectionist and OCD and neat freak and all of that. So, I have to have everything in order. And I use binder, binder methods um, and notebooks. So I have, this is for the bills and budget and all of that. Just have different notebooks and folders in here and bills in the front that are due, bills in the back that are paid. Different colors. It's very messy. 
it's messy because I haven't had a chance to to straighten it. This is my daily um, binder, notebook, whatever you want to call it, and I. Uh, I'm showing, I'm showing all my notebooks. This is where I keep all my lists for the day. Mom, me, I'm still sick. You are still sick. You just have to let the medicine work. <laughs> this is where I keep all my uh, daily notes and things that I need to do for the week. I keep their activities. Oh, this is a calendar. And it's pretty much full for November. And, um... I have their school and activities. Um, these are, this is the schedules. I have appointments and invitations. Whenever they get invitations, I put in here. To do tax are just things that need to be filed because I have a file. I have a file cabinet in the basement. These are other. These are other kids' activity schedules like. Um, different like play gyms and everything then I have uh, uh, a library activities and of course this is my coupon binder a mess everything is a mess right now everything is a mess right now um, because I have to go through it then Elise gets speech uh, therapy this stupid camera she gets speech therapy and this is the binder to keep all her paperwork together. And I have lots of other binders and notebooks downstairs in the basement because I have a business and I have a couple businesses that I, I um, started. But I'll talk about that in a different video because one of the businesses has something to do with planning these little play dates. So these cookies are done and I'm eating the whole one. Can I just say, OMG, these cookies are so good. I have not made peanut butter cookies since I was a little girl. Peanut butter cookies were the first cookies that I ever made by myself. And I was like, what, 10 or 11? And I used to make them all the time. Since then, I haven't made them. and so. Making them, the smell brought back so many memories of peanut butter. The taste is just so good. It makes me think about when I was a young, when I was a little girl. But yum. Mm -hmm. Girls are having lunch. Cheese sandwich, pretzels, grapes, carrots. Mm -hmm. Num num. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to tackle this disaster, these dishes. And this is actually the first round of dishes for today because I have to wash them after dinner as well. And I also had to wash them earlier because I made, I made two batches of cookies because I actually made these shared the cookies and I froze them. And also the peanut butter cookies. Yep. So I've had a long, long day, but it was very productive. I had a really productive day. I got a lot of things done today. I'm so tired. Um, I finished the play date stuff and I cleaned up a little bit and folded the clothes. And now I'm going to paint my nails before I go to bed. It's almost midnight. Girls are, they've been asleep for a while. My husband is asleep. So I'm gonna watch some Netflix, something on Netflix and paint my nails. And I have all of my nail colors out. I'm gonna do a design and um, with black, black, uh, white and silver and I mean, the same design I had. I'm just gonna do it over. But, uh, I take the fingernail polish off. Put this on first. 
nothing nothing spectacular this is you can't see it on camera it's a sally hansen moisturizer treatment because my nails had got so dry in the summer so i'll put this on first then i do the nail design these colors then this is the top coat this is for it to dry fast so i'll show you when i'm all finished so i finished my nails i came in the bathroom because i thought i had better light but i guess not still yellow light but i did like um it's silver white black stripes and a little bit of glitter and they're all different patterned but you can't really see it too well it looks much better in person the colors do but yeah that's, they're wet i let them dry and then i'm going to sleep so i have on a hair bonnet and i am about to go to sleep so i'm gonna call it a night and end the vlog and i will see you next time bye